Welcome back to Pilates by Christine. This is a cardio power flow, a mix of core work, legs work, plus a little balance and mobility. Getting it all in for you in about a 30 minute set with a five minute cool down. Let's go right into the warm up. Step to the middle of the mat, eight shoulder rolls back. Up to the ears, around and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arm circles back all the way up high, around and through. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready to add a squat? One circle back, squat down. Lift up and around, squat to reach to the floor. Eight times. Last three, two, Tap the floor, lift to stand, shoulder rolls forward eight times. Same set, just reversing the direction. Arm circles forward. Big shoulder stretch. Ready to add the squat. We circle around, lower to the squat. Circle through, down and lift. Full body warm up, getting our heart rate up. Three, two, and one. One more warm up exercise. Open the feet wide, knees and toes point out. Slide over, big stretch to one side. Shift the weight, stretch to the other side. Back over eight times, slow stretches. Really try to externally rotate, point that toe and knee towards the ceiling as you stretch over. Hold one side up and down eight times. Seven. And eight, let's hold it for a stretch. Side body stretch over. Exhale to lift, other side eight times. Getting those hips warmed up. Two more. Hold the stretch right here. Lean over, keep those toes connected to the floor. Exhale to stand. Let's go right into your first set. Squats, lower down, lift and tap one foot behind you. Squat and tap, alternating one foot to the other. When you're ready, add in arms, reach overhead. As you tap, reach. Lower down, tuck the elbows towards the knees. Then lengthen it all away. I'm keeping a quicker pace today. Cardio focus means constant movement, full body movement, 
working through to get the heart rate up and keep it up. Four more times. Three, two, one squat to finish. Open the feet to a V stance. Runner's lunge, bending the front knee. Lower the back knee down. We rock back and forth. Push into the lunge. Press back into triangle. It's like a loop shape here. Coming back and forward, then pressing back to stand. If you're not sure about this one, just do some regular lunges. You wanna keep your body moving. This is some of that mobility work I wanted to throw in today. Stretch forward, knee down, rock back. Use the glutes to stand. Press up one more time, all the way through. Exhale, lift. Step the back foot in. Here's your balance challenge. It's coming to you early. Up to a march with a twist front. Leg back, reach forward, exhale, slow and controlled, push it into the march and twist. Your twist can always come later. If you wanna do the march first, that foot can also just tap in instead of the knee coming up. Big reach back, exhale up, hold, hold. Reach back, pull it up, hold, hold. Focus is there. One more time, up and hold. Two, three, reach back. Let's go to the floor. Keep the same foot behind you. Open up into a big stretch here. Press back, side bend. Exhale up and big stretch forward. Add a reach to the stretch forward. That's your full exercise. Trying to add in as many body parts as we can. The more we move, the more we work. Great opposition work with this exercise. We're stretching and lengthening in one direction, pressing back with control to just side bend with the upper body, then switch back to the stretch. Let's hold this last stretch right here then turn to quadruped, hover plank, balance on the toes, knees up, flat back, cross one foot behind, pull it in, the other foot, and in. Cross taps back. These are really fun. You wanna keep those hips in line with the shoulders, shoulders over wrists, Knees and ankles strong. Four more times. Three, two, one. Back to the center. Lift off. Pulling the hips to the heels, pull the arms in, lower back to quadruped with one kick. Lift off, hips to heels, elbows tuck, reach forward, other leg kicks straight out, 
and in. That's the combo. Lift back, forward with a kick, lift back, forward with a kick. Feel your abs contract to help you lift those hips, float off the ground. Lean forward. Careful not to let the shoulders go over the hands. Square it up. Last one, then press into your down dog. Lift one hand, reach across to the opposite ankle. Switch sides, cross reach. I'm doing this one about eight times. You can keep doing the cross reaches or you can switch to kicks. Just kick one foot up, lower it down, other foot up and down. You got 30 seconds for these kicks. Enough time to get in about eight or 10. Last kick. Return to your down dog. Then fold back hips to heels. These are half ups. We step up and down, step up and down. Protect the knees by rolling up your mat to make a cushion under the knees. If your floor is soft enough, just keep going with me. Adding in the arms, full body benefits. Keep it quick. Last two and one. One more exercise down on the mat. One more core set. Inchworms. Walk it out into your high plank. Feet follow up to the hands. Reverse it. Feet go back and then the hands follow. Start it over, hands forward, feet forward, feet back, and hands back. Good job, keep it going. These are a lot of work, but they're not burpees. So you can be thankful for that, right? Tons of functional strength here. Full body, core focus. Finish by rolling yourself up. Find a second position, deep plie. We're rotating one knee in and out, other knee in and out. You can keep a narrower stance to help you with those rotations. You'll start to feel this one right away Only a couple legs exercises, so we really want to hang in there. You can do it. Down and up and down and up. Let's finish the set. Exhale. 
and plie, exhale up, step both feet together, legs combo, step one side squat, step in, same foot, lunge, and in, other foot, side squat, step in, back to lunge, step in, and switch, side, back, and side, in, back, in. Finish out your minute, you got it. One more time each leg. Out, in, and back. In one more exercise to finish round number one. Step to one side of the mat, side squat, out, in, one more, out. Now reach on the diagonal behind. Same thing, other direction. Out, up, and out, across, tap. Out, up, out, cross, back. When you reach back, keep the standing leg bent. Out, up, out, and back. We got 10 more seconds. Final time, out, up, out, and back. You get a 30 second break right here before we repeat the whole series. Grab some water or take one big forward stretch with me. All the way to the floor. Roll your body up, face the side, squat, tap back. Here we go. Down and tap. You can ease into this one. Take it a little slower. Then add those arms. Return to full power when you're ready. It's a full 30 minutes of cardio, which is awesome. It's recommended that you get 30 minutes of cardio most days of the week. Love adding this into the mix. Final two taps. Split the legs to a V. It's that rocking and rolling lunge. We lunge forward, knee down, hinge back and forward, press up to the lunge, all the way up to the triangle. Other option here was to just do regular lunges. Otherwise, join me for the mobility work getting up and down off the ground without your hands is a good marker for health and longevity. Have you seen those studies? They're all over the news. So I really try to throw in these up and down, get off the floor exercises. One more time. Here's the balance work. Knee comes up, press the hands together with this twist. Reach and tap back. Pull into the twist. Continuous mo movement.
Exhale to lift. Inhale, reach back. Got to tie in our breath work. Even though we're not moving too fast on this one, you can feel your heart rate still up there. Last one. Exhale, press and twist. Reach and tap back to the floor for the hip stretch and the side bend. Big stretch open. Press back. Hands hold behind the head, side bend over the bent leg. Lift, add the arms into your stretch. Press back, side bend. Exhale, lift. Inhale, press back. Giving the hips some love, getting our obliques working. Hold the last stretch forward. Press it back, turn to quadruped, hover plank, balance on the toes, knees up. Back is flat, cross back tap, pull it in, other foot across and in. Keep the knee bent, trying to stay at 90 with the supporting knee so the hips can stay in line with the shoulders and you can maintain your neutral spine. Four more taps. Three, two, one. Pull it to the center, lift off, use the abs. Lift yourself up, tuck the elbows, reach forward, one kick, tuck in, lift off, sit back, press forward, kick the other leg, and repeat. As you kick, think about keeping those hips in line. No twisting or lifting with the kick, it's just straight back. That's where your abs work, comes in, keep yourself in alignment. Last set. One more time, kick out, tuck in, and press into your elephant. Opposite hand reaches across to the ankle. Open with 30 seconds of the cross reaches. Try the kicks, 30 more seconds to go. Big stretch back, hello glutes.
Finish your kicks, lower down, scoot back. We're going to do the up and down, the half up and down. Remember you can pad your knees. Other option is all the way up to the feet and then back down to the knees. So it's up, up, down, down. This is usually called a prisoner squat where you would keep the hands folded behind the head. I think we could come up with a better Pilates name for it though. Probably have to be named after an animal, right? Try to switch up the lead foot if you're doing the all the way up to the feet options. Last one. Inchworms all the way to the back of the mat. Walk the hands out first, high plank. Feet follow. Walk the feet back and then walk the hands back to the feet. Hands out and up, feet in and up. Repeat in reverse, feet out, hands in. One more set, walk the hands out into your plank. Feet walk in, feet step back out to your plank. Finish by walking the hands in. Roll yourself up. Look how quick we made it through. I already got to the leg set to finish. Big plie, knee rotation, in and out, in and out. I think this is the toughest one of the day. There's no mercy for your legs on this one. It's just one minute. Make it through. Only about two more minutes to go after this before we get to our cool down. We're so close to that 30 minutes. Last set, in and out, exhale, lift, step to the center, side squat, try the other foot first, out and in, lunge back and in, switch sides, out, in, lunge back and in. Good combo to get us moving in different planes of motion. That just means different directions here. Moving to the side, moving to the back. Directional changes, challenge the body. Last set, one more on each leg. Step the feet together. One more minute to go. Come to one side of the mat. Side squat, out and up, out, cross, back. Other direction. Side squat, hold it low, cross tap behind. Out, in, out and tap. Out, in, out and tap. So happy it's your last minute. Have fun with this one.
final set. Give me one in each direction. And tap to finish. Good job. Let's stretch together. We gotta let our body get some time to cool down. Big inhale, reach overhead. Slow, flat back, stretch forward. Take your time, find the floor. Good breathing here. Slowly lower yourself down to the floor. Let's do a side body stretch. Kick one leg out and then the same arm reaches overhead. We didn't do any side planks today, so I'm calling this our modified side plank slash cool down stretch. Let's try the other side. Big stretch through the rib cage. Really lift that hip up. Come all the way down for a glute stretch. One leg out straight, other foot crosses over. Opposite hand comes across to twist. Feel it all through the outer thigh on that bent leg. Try the other side, switch legs, reach across, pull yourself into the rotation, deeper the stretch. Open the feet to a small V. Reach forward, slow spine stretch forward. Keeping the hands up. Roll back, stack the shoulders over the hips. Exhale, roll forward. We're still letting the body cool down. We wanna get that heart rate back to baseline. Roll forward. You've earned this stretch. Hold this one right here. Lower the hands down and let yourself relax into your stretch. You can pull the feet together. Reach for the ankles or the toes if you can. Thank you so much for joining me for cardio today. I love doing this kind of cardio. It's so much fun. Plus you get extra balance, mobility, some strengthening. Let me know how this went in the comments below. I will see you for your next workout.